So a few weeks back, I did the rip versus crosscut video, and I realized that it was really time for me to change blades on both my table saw and my miter saw. I did a video years ago on changing circular saw blades, but I had never really tackled the subject for the two larger tools. It's something that will eventually come up for everybody who dabbles in carpentry and woodworking. So I thought it's worth a video of its own. Just to make sure I had a variety of brands represented, I enlisted the help of my friend Bob Batura of Cutting Edge Woodworks. Today we're going to show you how to change blades on most common miter saws and table saws. And that's coming up next on The Honest Carpenter Show. We'll start with the table saw. I've got a DeWalt, Bob has an old shop grade Delta. Whatever the case, nearly all table saw blades change the same way. To start, unplug the saw. Never attempt a blade change with the saw plugged in. It could turn into a horror movie, just don't do it. But with the saw unplugged, next you remove the throat plate. This is a flat plate that keeps things from falling into the blade well. Bob can lift his right out. Mine has a little lockable tab. I just turn the dial, it unlatches, I tilt it out of place. I also like to roll the elevator up so the blade is at its highest point. It makes it easier to get at things. Now, pretty much all table saws come with supplied wrenches. There's typically a flat box wrench and a flat open end wrench. We'll use both. You may want to use gloves as well when handling the actual blades. The table saw is mounted on what's called a blade arbor. This is like a bolt that connects the blade to the motor. The blade is held in place on the arbor with a series of washers or flanges and a nut. The blade arbor itself has a flat indentation on it. The open end wrench fits over this indentation. The box wrench fits over the nut at the free end of the blade arbor. To loosen the blade, just pull the two wrenches towards each other. I like to position them so I can do this with a grasping motion with both hands. Just a little pressure will loosen the nut. Set your wrenches aside, then spin the nut all the way off the arbor. It may have a flat face on one side, so keep that in mind. The first flange will slide right off. It's like a big cupped washer. Some even say which side should point towards the blade. It's always the hollow side because this creates more pressure. The blade itself will also slide right off. Set it aside carefully. Now, the inner flange is shaped differently. It's kind of like a cone. It can just stay put. You're ready for a new blade at this point. I'm using a Diablo combo blade, and that's perfect for what I need, but new blades are always sharp, so be careful with them. Now, slide the blade over the arbor so that the teeth are pointing towards the front of the saw. That's where the power switch and elevator wheel are. This is the direction of the blade rotation. If you install it backwards, it won't cut as well. So you want blade teeth pointing forward. There's usually an arrow to indicate this. With the blade snug against the inner flange, slide the outer flange on, hollow side towards the blade. Then spin on the nut with the flattest face against the flange. Tighten the nut with your two wrenches. You don't have to go crazy with pressure here. Just give it a good pry and leave it at that. The rotation of the blade keeps the nut tight when the saw is spinning. It's engineered that way. Now the throat plate goes back on. I lock mine. Then plug the saw in, step back into the side of the blade and flip the switch. If everything looks and sounds stable, you're good to go. That's all it takes to change the blade on a table saw. Okay, miter saw time. Once again, start by unplugging the tool. Always, always do this. Also, if your saw slides like mine does, lock it in place so it's not running away from you. I just tighten this knob at the back and it stays put. Now, the miter saw is a little different because it doesn't use a two wrench system. Instead, like a circular saw, it has a blade lock button right here or on Bob's Bosch, it's about in the same place, it's just bigger. You use this button in conjunction with a socket wrench. Sometimes a wrench comes with a saw, but if not, any socket wrench will do. But the problem is, you can't get at the nut right away. It's almost always covered by a guard. To remove the guard, you usually untighten a set screw. Mine is right here. You can just turn it with a screwdriver, but you don't have to back it all the way out. Just go enough to release pressure to rotate the cover out of the way. In my case, this cover actually also pins back my blade guard with friction. You have to get the blade guard out of the way to change the blade. Bob holds his back with the wire. You can even do it with your thumb if need be. Now you have access to the fastener, but this time it's not a nut, it's a bolt with a flange. Same function though. So to loosen it, just press in the little locking button by the motor. This will lock the arbor so it won't spin while you're trying to loosen the bolt. You usually have to hold it down and give the blade a few turns before it catches. You'll feel the button fall into a detent that locks the blade. Some older saws don't have these. If that's the case, you'll have to pull the blade down onto a piece of wood and the teeth biting into the wood will prevent it from spinning 
but basically all modern miter saws have the locking tab. So back to blade removal. Bob is using an offset box wrench. I'm using a socket wrench with a half inch bit. That's a pretty common size for these bolts. Now this bolt usually loosens in the blade spin direction. My flange washer even specifies this, which is very helpful. It's just a visual aid. So with the blade locked, just give it a pry. You'll break the thread connection, then you can spin it out with your fingertips. Bolt comes out, flange washer slips off, then you just shimmy the blade carefully off the arbor. That's all you remove. The inner flange may jiggle on the arbor, but don't replace it unless you need to. That's what it's supposed to do on most models. Now slide your new blade on. You want teeth pointing downwards. When they spin, you want them to push the material into the floor and into the fence at the back. That's how the miter saw is engineered to work. Put the blade on the arbor, slip the flange washer back against it with the cupped hollow side pointing inward. The arbor may have indentations, so you have to align these. Then with the flange on, the bolt threads back into the hole. Spin it with your fingers. Then when you need pressure, hit your locking button and rotate against the blade spin direction. Again, you don't need to go crazy on pressure here. Just give it a good solid pry. Now let your guard back down. Lower the safety panel over the bolt and retighten the set screw to secure it. Once again, plug it in, stand to the side, and fire it up just to make sure it's spinning smoothly. If so, you're all done. You're good to go. So that's it. That's how you change miter saw and table saw blades. What did you think? Was this video helpful? Do you have anything you'd like to add? Let me hear about it down in the comments. I'm going to link a handful of blades and tools down below in the description. Feel free to browse those. And remember that when you shop through these links, we receive a small commission at no extra charge to you. It helps us keep making videos and we greatly appreciate the support. As always, thanks for watching. Be sure to check back in for more videos coming up soon. And please consider subscribing and hitting that little bell button to turn on notifications. That way you'll know the moment we post something. I'm Ethan James with TheHonestCarpenter.com. I'll see you next time.